I stay turned every day like my birthday. Like my birth. Man, I shine even on my worst day. Oh, my worst. All these hoes wanna drink, ooh, they thirsty. Drink up. She came Monday, didn't leave the Thursday. I, I, I stay turned every day like my birthday. Oh, so fabulous. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Zumi Bilia. Are you guys feeling me? At this point, I feel like one princess. So forgive me if I have an attitude in this intro because. <laughs> Let me jump to serious. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If this is your first time, mm -hmm, you guys, this is me. This is Zumi Bilia Undiluted. You guys are going to love me. Just join my happy family by subscribing okay hit that subscribe button right below and the notification bell right beside it that way youtube notifies you whenever i drop new videos and i drop new videos twice every week most weeks so and if you're already a subscriber you're already part of my happy family i love you you already know how we do it you know how we do it we are popping up in here so guys like this look has me feeling all kinds of like high top um as you guys already saw in the title this look is about the Fumi Exuvia's Queen collection, which I have here. I recently got this, and this book was created using that collection. And in addition, I also got the uh, magic foundation and concealers from Juvia. That's what I use in it, achieving. That's what I use in achieving this entire look. So, guys, I'm so like I'm so satisfied by everything that I use. Like Juvia's Fumi, you guys are killing it, and like you guys keep making us proud. Ah. Oh. Let's just get right to this tutorial, guys. <laughs> so, guys, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be priming my eyelids using my LA Girl Pro Primer. And I'm using this because I want to give the eyeshadow like the best base, you know, possible, which is why I'm using something white so that all the colors will pop. So, I'm blending this in using uh, a flat eyeshadow brush. We're going into the Queen palette. This is what it looks like. I actually have a full video about my Juvia's place haul. That's the link right up there. Please check it out. I'll be taking this shade here because this is the closest thing to a skin tone shade. Wow, okay. I think it's really pigmented and it's easily blendable. Like guys, I'm so confused. I don't know what look I want to do. And the colors are so beautiful. The next shade I'll be taking is this pink right here. It's so pigmented. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Jesus, this is just one, one tap. Guys, I'll just take my Elegant Pro Primer a bit and just, you know, like do a kind of cut crease. I don't really need it to be too defined, which is why I'm not cutting it the usual way. Take a small eyeshadow brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray it with some of my setting spray. I need a small brush because I need it to get into the inner part of my eye. And I'll take the shade here called FDV Approved. Now that I'm done with that uh, FD, FDV, I'll take another eyeshadow brush and I'm not going to wet this up because I'm working with a matte shadow. So I'm going to take the shade Adrian that I'm trying to use all the shades today because I need to test out all the shades. <laughs> I'm going to extend this shade outwards like this and then just take it up into the outer corner crease like this. So guys, I think what I observe is they are very, very, very minimal fallout from this eyeshadow palette. So if you are a face before eyes kind of girl, I don't think you have much to worry about because as you guys can see, there's like practically no fallout here, just a little bit on this other eye. So now I'll go with a tapered blending brush. You can see that this is a blending brush but it's really, really pointy. So I'm going to really pack on some of that purple in here and then blend it upwards into the shades that I have above there. So guys, I went on to do my liner and apply my lashes. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like the lashes may be overpowering the eye makeup, but 
I'm not sure when I'm done I'll be able to know like when I'm done with the whole face so I'm thinking of doing a um, white liner in my waterline I don't know if it's going to be too much because the look is really colorful but let's see I'm using my elegant pro primer guys I'm going to be spraying my face with some facial mist first of all um, to hydrate my face I'm going to the hydrate by Brega and Omari Coach now I'm um, like saying this is not just a moisturizer that it can also serve as a primer or a makeup base because it's really sticky and also I think I'm not going to be using any primer today I'll use this as a moisturizer stroke primer you're supposed to allow it to sit and like your skin to really absorb it so I'll give it a couple of minutes like two minutes while I just massage it into my skin drum roll for the moment we've all been waiting for time to try out the Juvia's I'm going to be using the um, DS Alma Beauty Blender that I have come to love to apply this foundation. I, I'm so nervous because this is the moment of truth. This is when I get to know if this is my shade, if foundation did me dirty or not. For those of you who don't know, foundation is an app that I use to shade match myself. If you want to know more about that, check the description bar. There's a video there where I talked about my Juvia's Place haul. That video is going to let you guys know the best way to find your foundation shade online. Ah, it's my shade! I already know! It's my shade! Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at how I just swatch it on the side of my face. Oh my god. Ah, this is my shade. It's my shade. Foundation, you guys. Go to foundation. Oh lord. <laughs> now let's blend. Oh. My shade. This foundation, can you guys see how matte it is? They say it has a velvety matte finish, and I think it's so true to that. Man, this thing applies like a dream. I'm using the uh, I Am Magica concealer from Juvia's in the shade 2 for my contour. Sincerely, guys, I don't expect this thing to contour me, but let me just see going to actually be my control shade. <laughs> oh my god. Are you kidding me? You guys, a lot of times eh, I buy foundations that I feel will be my control shade and they end up being my foundation shade. You guys don't know that this is a triumph. Ah, dark skin girl problem. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Ooh. Juvia's gang you guys have made me a believer for life. <laughs> so I'm blending this using the flat end of my beauty, my beauty blender. I finally have a contour sheet. <laughs> what? And now I think I'm gonna have used a little too much, guys. But that's good because, well, I'll. Cancel it out with my highlights, but then guys a little goes a long way a little goes what a very very long way A bit here the whatever is left on my beauty blender just to contour my chin a bit okay, So I had to pause to change my camera battery and I had this concealer on while I did that. So that was actually going to be a test of if this concealer dries out too fast. You understand? There's some concealers that when you put you have to dry, you have to blend them immediately. And I'm happy to tell you this one passed the test. It's not one of those concealers that just dry out quickly before you blend. Like it's really really creamy. Actually, the 
concealers are more velvety, like satiny. I don't know, like when I move the way the light bounces off, you can see it has a sheen as opposed to the foundation. The foundation is more dry than the concealer part of the face. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying, but basically the concealer have more of that velvety sheen about them than the foundation. And you guys remember that I didn't use a mattifying primer. My face is already so big that I just want to go in the tutorial like <laughs> What am I doing again? Your girl is already cutting! <laughs> so going into this powder from Real Makeup, you guys know that setting powder is something that I do with or without depending on my mood. So I'm going to be setting my face using this shade right here. Setting my highlighted areas. Guys, for my face, face powder, I'll be going into my Glam um, powder in the shade Brown Chocolate 212. Taking this shade right here and just applying it over the rest of my face. Now, guys, because I really love this satiny finish, I'm just going to use like little powder, not too much. I'll take a smaller brush and I'll take this shade right here. This is the reason I always go for this powder, like it's so easy for me because my powder shade is here, my highlight shade is here, my contour shade is here. That makes my life very easy. So guys, for my blush, I'll be going back into this palette and I'll be taking this shade right here. It's called Ole, Ole or Ole. <laughs> Such a lovely blush shade. I'll be taking this shade, the same shade that I use as my blush, Ole, and then I'm going to using using this to smoke out my under eye area. This is a very colorful look, and this is actually because I wanted to use all the shades that came in this palette okay, so i like my brow bone i'll be taking this shade right here with a bit of this one just little cup of excess okay, so now i want to glow up my face and to do that i'll be going into the afric palette by juvia's just because i can and i'll be taking this very gorgeous shade here called coffee time for the lipstick and I have two shades here this is royalty and this is Fumi so I'll start with royalty first of all so we can see how it applies I'm so nervous using this shade so guys can you see how I didn't line my lips actually so I feel like for someone of my shade of my skin tone you cannot wear this lip alone I saw a lot of people do it I saw Tony Olaoye and she just applied it and it was like perfect well for me mm -mm. I'd have to like line it with like a dark brown you know liner but I think I really like the way the shade looks on me and I think it kind of gives this orangey almost like skin tone feel I actually really really like it. I was thinking I was not going to like it because I knew like it's a very light shade of nude for me but I feel like if I'm feeling adventurous, depending on the kind of look I'm going for, I can actually wear this without a liner. I don't know. I don't know how it looks on camera but right in front of my mirror right now. It doesn't look bad at all. It really doesn't. It doesn't. I like like how easy it was. It was so easy to take off. I think that's my, it's not like sticky, you know the way some glosses are that are really sticky and then for you to wipe them off you have to go over and over it, this one wasn't like that, it was just easy and it actually leaves my lips feeling moisturized oh gorgeous oh my for me you, you, you are, you are killing us Feeling like one fierce warrior princess. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll be 
be right back guys <laughs> okay, I forgot to set my face I'm just gonna be doing that using the Kimani glow mist I'm so into glow mist these days because I got a glow guys I have to tell you people that for as far as everything that I use I am so so impressed the Fumi foundation, the Fumi collection eyeshadows are so pigmented. Like everybody already knows Juvia's being like the most pigmented eyeshadows. They are so pigmented, easily blendable, like minimal fallout. Then the list this is also the lip shade. They have two shades and it's glossy, it doesn't feel too sticky, it doesn't feel heavy on the lips, it's just perfect. Then for the foundation, you guys already know what like it's my perfect skin tone and my perfect skin undertone, which is a rarity for me. And I'm so impressed by the shade range. Like the packaging is so simple, it's really travel friendly. It comes in a tube. The wire the controller comes in this screw, this thing with the applicator. Like you guys, it's just awesome. Like I'm so impressed. I love this collection. I will give it a 10 over 10. It's anything higher than 10 over 10. I totally, totally love it. I'm trying to think of a fault right now. Like what can I say they need to improve on? I can't think of anything. I will recommend it for you guys. I'm so like ugh. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We just give it a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section what you guys think. Am I killing it? Am I killing it? Have you tried anything from Juvia's? Have you tried any of these things that I used today? What do you think about it? And be sure to share this video. It always helps me when you guys do that. And I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.